When Moses in the wilderness for 40 years after living in a palace and being trained and being educated by Pharaoh and the system of Egypt for 40 years, he takes this man and he puts him on the backside of the wilderness for 40 years. And for 40 years, he's stripping layer after layer any trust he might have in himself. And what, what exactly is so significant about a bush? There's nothing at all significant about a bush on the backside of the wilderness. In the very encounter, God is showing Moses the nature of what he's seeking to establish in a covenant people. People who would not find significance in a beautiful vast tree. It's a bush that is bearing the very life and energy and fire of God. That is, he was staring at a sign and a wonder that bore the image of what he himself, God himself, would make Moses to be. He was staring at what Jesus himself was seeking to make him into, what God himself made Abraham into. And he says, I must turn aside and see what the voice is speaking. But in the moment he recognized what makes this place holy is the fact that God is present in the moment. And in the moment he's speaking, this is holy. God is here and he's saying something. It comes about that at the lodging place on the way, the Lord met Moses and sought to put him to death. And right away, Zipporah, his wife, understood why. So she took a flint knife and cut off her son's foreskin and threw it at Moses' feet and said, indeed, you are a bridegroom of blood to me. Covenant, what is, why did God hear the cries? Because of the covenant promise he made to a man and the covenant he sought with a nation. That would look like what? That would look like a people like Moses, stripped of any self-confidence or self-dependence so that we ourselves would, would look like a bush, insignificant at all in and of ourselves, but that hosts divine life that burns with purity and beauty and humility and love and that looks like covenant. Moses is called out by God to deliver a people from slavery and captivity and he's endowed with a sign and a wonder and is given a voice but if he himself does not tie into covenant with the Lord to where he's establishing covenant in his body in his family and he presents that to the people God says I would rather do without you 40 years invested 40 years invested a sign a wonder and a voice if you don't walk in covenant I'll raise up another man we'll start over again because God is after the finished product.